Hi. Today we are going to learn about embedded sentences which are otherwise known as embedded clauses. Well, before we begin, you should know what is a clause. Any sentence which has a subject and a verb could be called as a clause. So, there are two clauses. One is the main clause, the other one is the subordinate clause. So, what is a main clause? Subject and a verb. Subordinate as well as the main clause will have a subject and the verb. But if the subject and the verb express a complete thought, then you call it as a main clause. If it does not express a complete thought, then you call it as a subordinate clause. Okay, now what is an embedded clause? It depends on the main clause. Not only that, embedded clauses will not make sense when it stands alone. You can even say it is a clause which is used in the middle of another clause. So why do we say that? Because it gives extra information to the reader. Let's take the example of a bun. Now you take a bun and you cut it into two, like how you do for a sandwich. Now the upper part of the sandwich, you can call it as the main clause. Likewise, the lower part of the sandwich, you can call it an other main clause. The stuffing that goes in between could be called as an embedded clause because when you remove the stuffing, you can still eat the bun as it is. Now let's consider the example, my guitar which is very old is broken. My guitar in the given sentence is the main clause, which is very old is the embedded clause, is broken is another main clause. Now let's equate that to a sandwich example. The upper part of the bun could be called as the main clause, here it is my guitar. The stuffing that goes in between is the embedded clause as we have seen. Here, which is very old. And the lower part of the barn is another main clause and here it is, is broken. As we've already seen, the embedded clause gives extra information. In the given sentence, which is very old gives extra information. Remember to add a comma before and after the embedded clause. Now, if you're going to read the main clause, we have already said that it will make complete sense. So here, when you read it as, my guitar is broken, the sentence is complete, it has a subject, it has a verb, and it does give a complete thought. Whereas, which is very old, does not give a complete thought. Another point to remember here is, when you write an embedded clause, you need to begin an embedded clause with words like, which, when, that, etc. Now, since we've learnt about embedded clauses, there are points which you should never forget while writing a sentence with an embedded clause. The first point is, you should know that it is used to give only additional information. And when you write an embedded clause, you have to use the marker that, when, which, who, etc. And when you write an embedded clause, a comma should be used before and after an embedded clause. Never forget this. Hope you've understood embedded sentences or embedded clauses. I guess now you can write an embedded sentence on your own. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.